I posted this study on Facebook. I posted it inside our groups, but this is QEEG. So we've had a lot of um, clinics that have been contacted by QEEG companies over the past year or so saying that this can diagnose concussion and this is the way to go and everything like that. Um, now, the results on this basically show that we don't yet know. Current evidence does not support the use of clinical or of QEEG for um, diagnosis of MTBI. It does also not support the use of QEEG to differentiate concussion from other diagnoses. So the big problem with QEEG, like any imaging modality, is that it's not specific. So concussion looks like anxiety, looks like PTSD, looks like pain, looks like headaches, looks like anything. So you can't necessarily say that just because you see findings that it's related to a concussion. That's the big problem. So it may show that there's something there, but we don't know why, right? So why bother? So here's the problems with it. There's a lack of good quality research. They found 598 abstracts, yet they only found nine that were deemed to be of high enough quality to include. And these actually included retrospective case series. That's a crap <laughs> model, right? So um, not really great research. Studies all use different parameters, so it makes it tough to compare the bulk of the evidence. And non-specific, like I said, concussion can look like depression, anxiety, PTSD, fatigue, medication use, exercise, et cetera. And none of the studies really were able to compare those two. So differentiation of concussion from related diagnosis, you can see here, some of the studies attempted to differentiate concussion from healthy controls and subgroups, such as those with or without pain or with or without post-traumatic epilepsy. However, none of the class two studies compared patients with MTBI with other neurological and psychiatric disorders, such as depression. Therefore, specificity of QEG findings for the MTBI diagnosis could not be determined. Practice recommendations, and I've already kind of read it to you, evidence does not support the use of QEG to differentiate concussion from other diagnoses or detect MTBI in the presence of central nervous system medications and suitable statistical methods do not exist when using QEG to identify patients with concussion. Based on the current literature, remains an investigational tool. And CCMI is actually looking at potentially doing some research with a couple of these companies uh, to do it. I do think this technology will be helpful, but we just have to figure it out. We have to do a lot more to collect enough data to be able to differentiate certain things. Mm -hmm.